Hey now, Sagittarius. Sagis. Sag Sun, full confession. <laughs> Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Jupiter, Sagittarius Mars, Sagittarius Mercury. That's all. Um, and Juno, at one degree, come think of it. Oh, and the asteroid child is exact on my son. Karmic, 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 karmic. <laughs> my grandmother told me, man, I grew up in a very spiritual thing. She laughed one time, and I was sitting in her lap. I must have been a little sitting in her lap. See, like her teeth were bad. She just throw her mouth open and laugh. She always had to move the Bible off her lap to talk to me. And, um, you know, she would just say, you and your mother have been together many lives. And she'd say, sometimes you were her mother. And I would look at her and she'd laugh and laugh. I thought that was the funniest thing. <laughs> All right, said he's, So yeah, it's a wonder, you know, I'm not crazier than I am. <laughs> um, let's see what we got. This is for the end of September time frame, I should say. Time, 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 time. Whenever you watch it, <laughs> if it resonates, okay. So eight cards, and we we'll looked at you and your person, kind of a sinistry a vibe with the first six cards, and then a composite shift with the advice from, for the relationship as a whole and the outcome of the relationship. Just picking up who you're thinking of, who's in your heart. That's the number one thing. Number one thing. Do check out the Soul Family Reads up for the weekend, Friday, um, weekend of the 24th, and... Um, Collective read for whoever resonates. Kind of want to see who's in my tribe. If you resonate with this or any of these click, you, you might be. And I'd love you to join you. I'll try to keep it quick. Okay, here we go, guys. Looking at the moon. Over Colossio this morning, early morning. It's just beautiful here in the Caribbean, guys. All right, you're coming in. Um, Seven of Wands energy. So, righteous defense of the castle. In this position, number one is you're rising, uh, how, you looking out at your other person, but I'm trying to get a bead on you, a little bit separate from who you're thinking of, kind of where you're at. So I don't tend to read this as energy uh, of you directed at your person. So it means that you're coming in in a defensive position, defending a castle. So likely then from something, right? Um, past relationship. So it means as you enter this relationship, your mind is kind of in a defensive mode already, and it's uh, like looking for trouble. And it's not a good way to enter a relationship. Um, it's its energy has to be respected, and it's fine. It's your energy, and it because again, righteous defense of the castle. Well, you. Did what you are doing, what you had to do, its actions, uh, was definitely the right thing. Uh, uh, but I'm already thinking, like, you got to, like, this, I because I go fast, you know, relationships, and I began to realize energetically, you know, this is where you need that time, uh, because otherwise then you bring this energy into this new situation, which uh, may not uh, literally require any defensive posture, and actually, uh, probably, particularly in the beginning of a relationship, if, if it's important, as the complete opposite, which requires vulnerability. And vulnerability is pretty much the opposite of the seven of wands, just to point out. Um, now, let's be surprised you might pull in someone that's all about vulnerability. No, you're pulling somebody that's all about you. So, again, you're in this defensive posture. This kind of a little bit concerns me. It's like a fire person, maybe, you know, could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Um, but more than that, I, again, I, when you go into a relationship with this Seven of Wands energy, you're going to tend to pull Seven of Wands like response. So um, this could be someone who shows up kind of giving you reason to feel defensive. You know, uh, Eight of Wands, I know it's often seen as a cross in the sea and this great energy and, and long distance communication. Could be all that. Um, but I get a sense with this that it's uh, crossing some boundaries with you uh, and putting you in a defensive uh, uh, posture here. Let's see how you're reacting to them uh, in the relationship. 
Hmm. So this eight of wands uh, energy that they hit you with, because I was concerned it could be love bombing and all that, and that kind of going that way with the narcissist thing. But you are responding to them with the queen of cups. And that's quite a ways to go from the seven of wands. You're kind of coming in as this defensive energy. When they first come in, you're kind of like, oh no, here we go, you know. But as you're getting to know them, you certainly seem to be warming up to them because if they're making you feel like the Queen of Cups here, uh, you know, Virgo had this actually uh, this uh, week, and that's a wonderful feeling. I mean, that's being, what did I say was the problem here? You can't be vulnerable. What's the Queen of Wands? She's vulnerable in the best sense of the word because she's also strong. She's not vulnerable and weak, she's vulnerable and strong and emotionally aware and intelligent. So. She's gonna, the Queen of Wands gonna call out Narcissus bullshit. She's not gonna go there. I have that faith. This is a mature person. It's a queen, man or woman. Doesn't matter. So let's see what comes in this initial energy with them. How are they reacting to you now? Holy mackerel, the Empress. So what happened here, you know, it's interesting because I, I wonder in your chart, you know, we, they always say this Uranus energy is, and it is, is where you see powerful love at first sight, lust at first sight, attraction in a chart. Sometimes it's an initial repulsion. Um, it, it's like so strong that it kind of, um, it takes you a minute to kind of wrap your mind around it. And it can feel like you're almost, this person was like repulsive. And you look again and you're like, no, they're the Empress. Is everything that you would want <laughs> and it very well meets a queen of cups honestly you know you've got to say seven of wands and eight of wands I mean the energy is meeting there very well um, and you are a fire sign so you could just be bringing in another fire energy Sun moon rising or Venus strong fire energy to your life but you're meeting it with deep emotion, a mature, solid, grounded emotion of a queen. And they are the empress with you. So, I mean, it kind of reads like two high fun. You bring out the best in each other. I got to tell you, you to go from the seven of wands to the queen of cups, the eight of wands to the empress. I don't know, the eight of wands to the empress, another way that could be is they fly in a private jet and to meet you and get off. <laughs> I don't know why I came to buy it. Oh my God, it, it, please watch the Soul Family Read. It's up today for the weekend, okay? Uh, it's on my channel, you can find it. Because I read from the tarot book here about strength, the sword piece that's there, a strength card, and it, it was the uh, dominant uh, uh, overall energy for the Soul Family Read this weekend. Um, so we just went through it. And this is from uh, advice from spirit towards this person. And I always say, uh, what we were reading, we kind of talked about how it's the id, and I think of it as uh, uh, this uh, Black Moon Lilith energy, this kind of animal instinct energy, but it is that, that kind of real strength, you know, solid animal strength um, and courage. Um, but I believe it's also a blessing card, and particularly when it's advice from spirit. So insofar as you need strength to meet this person, to meet, to engage with, to love this person, uh, you're going to have it. Um, but it does imply to me always, by logic, that strength is emphasized because in some way you will need strength. But be assured you will have it. I said in uh, the Soul Tribe reading, you know, uh, this happens all the time, and we actually do always have the strength, or we wouldn't be here now. So, wow. Okay, God, this is like, mm, just my heart just went kabow. <laughs> because look at this. God, what a blessing. What a beautiful relationship. This is advice for spirit from your person. I mean, it couldn't be any more positive. God, I'm sorry. It's like so emotional. I'm a sad, you know, try to read myself out and... I don't really focus on any resonating myself as I read. Hey, uh, but what we have here, I'm sorry, is something very positive. Um, 
it, it's about the way you guys engage each other. I think you probably did find each other from a distance somehow and have to come together. Um, uh, but there's just, uh, look, you've got the Queen of Cups here, Sag, over strength. I mean, I don't know, just look at it. You can kind of just see, even if you don't talk, is it, how does that make you feel? That makes you feel good, right? That's a good feeling, uh, really good. And then, you, my God, man, your person here, Sag, Cross Watcher. Um, Cross Watcher, consider a donation if this resonates. <laughs> You've got to change. So I don't know, Sad, you could be getting a rich price. It's really coming strong to my mind. Is that weird? But definitely not me. <laughs> but I'm happy. Okay. But uh, the Empress <laughs> over the sun. I mean, this is like, like, uh, it's like it hurts my eyes. It's so positive. Like, so I see you guys in the sunlight. There's sunlight and it's bright. And uh, you guys are. A couple who's uh, like uh, on fire, just happy, not a big deal. They're not Leo's like, Ooh, look at me. You're just like, you know, really light each other up, you know? Um, amazing like that. Okay, so let's see what we get for advice for relationship justice. My God, man. Um, a major Akana here. Um, Justice card. This is your advice for relationship as a whole. I think, I'm telling you how I read this, because justice I see, yeah, it's Libra. Look at Libra in your composite relationship chart. You can run it for free in several places or ask me. <laughs> um, because I think this is karma here. And you, I do read the composite here. You may have a Libra ascendant, a Libra rising as a composite together. Um, wouldn't be impossible in any way. Um, kind of would make them maybe more Leo. But um, it's like, you know, I want to say this. It's You're getting your karma. Hey, man, you're getting your karma. And it's great. It's great. Why does everybody think karma's bad? I'm like, oh, my God, I'm getting my karma? What? You're like, and it's incredible. <laughs> it's the sun and strength and the empress and the queen of cups. My God, man. It's like you guys, like, together here, it was like a little, like, like uh, when you're watching one of them wilderness shows and they're trying to start the fire, and these little sparks, and finally one of them catches the tender and it goes whoosh. And it's like there was little sparks, little sparks, but then, <clears throat> like a fire, man. And I said, God, I got to say this. In the soul family read, at the end, I said, look, this is how it's going to go down. Uh, you're going to, I didn't want to say the word fucking, but this is, you, you're just fucking burn. And if they can't dig your fire, then they get the fuck back. <laughs> you know, and that's, I think, what you guys are going to do. It's like, it's really great. You're just going to burn. And if people don't like your glow, well, then they can just close the curtains. I don't know. It's their problem, not yours. Wow, and Nine of Pentacles. And I love this, actually, because I think how you end up in this relationship, and this is, a, you know, I'm, I'm not a typical Sag, but in this way, uh, but, you know, you could be hooking up with a Leo, too. Uh, but you end up in a relationship, I think uh, you're both going to be working people, you both have your own careers, you both do your own uh, thing. Um, there could be a little energy here, and I'm not saying there is, but for some people here, of like your single couple, I mean childless couple, or as my ex-wife that never wanted to have children, was fine with that, uh, would often say she would brus uh, bristle at uh, childless, because she would tell people, oh, I don't, I don't have children, and say, oh, you're childless, she'd say, no, I'm child free, <laughs> but so not to be judgmental, so child free, uh, unencumbered, and just both of you kind of respecting each other's personal energy. And I don't mean like, uh, I mean in the highest uh, level, like, you know, one of you is a lawyer and one of you is a professor or whatever, you know, one of you has your job and the other has their job. And they're, they're, I think your work is important to you. And, but you come together so beautifully and you light up each other. And I think like uh, whatever the work is you do, when you guys come together, it's again like that little spark just lights a conflagration so it's like at the end of the day when you guys would finally see each other 
uh, it would just be like with both of you, just no matter how long a day it was, no matter how hard it was, no matter if it went well, didn't go well, when you see each other, you know, it's like kabam, and you're like smiling and happy. And probably going to last forever. <laughs> Thank you, guys.